Yo, so how's it going guys? Welcome back to another GTA 5 video. Now in today's video, we're going to be taking a look at the brand new update that Rockstar Games rolled into GTA 5 Online last night. But not only that, we're going to be taking a look at some of the files that data miners have been able to find already, leaking out what we can expect to see in GTA 5 Online next month. And we're also going to be looking at some more changes to come with the Halloween update tomorrow. So as always, if you guys do appreciate me keeping you up to date with all of the latest is gta 5 news all i ask is you do return the favor by dropping a like down below and if you guys are new around here hit that subscribe button and turn notifications on as i do post daily gta 5 videos with that being said let's get into the video okay so for you guys that play on pc you may have noticed that there was somewhat of a mini update last night and this was the title update 1.63 i will leave a link down below in the description to all of the general fixes and stability and security updates that rockstar games have made however tez funds 2 who is a data miner in the gta 5 community pretty much went ahead and said this which confirms a few things that rockstar games never confirmed on the newswire so the latest gta 5 pc patch unifies all versions so that'll be the epic games the rockstar games launcher as well as steam the patch is built off the qa stu branch which we now know as sub title branch a sub version was likely needed not to interfere with the new pc build meant for december update containing expanded and enhanced content so for you guys that i lost halfway through reading that thinking what the hell do you mean by qastu subtitle update basically pc players will be receiving the expanded and enhanced content come december i have seen tons of comments from you guys that do play on pc just asking what the hell is going on with this update you can't even get gta plus being a pc player which blows my mind considering how many lobbies on pc are just full up of modders and unplayable lobbies rockstar games really have taken their time rolling out this expanded and enhanced content for pc and they probably had the right reasons too there's probably a bunch of bugs and glitches that they had to come across and fix before rolling out the new version however tezfons 2 goes on to show this image right here which might just look like a bunch of numbers and letters to you guys however this basically confirms that rockstar have updated the newswire to include references to a gt online heist challenge for 2022 now the last time we received a heist challenge from rockstar games I believe they set a target for the entire community to reach 100 billion raised from playing heists alone. Now this was in 2020, right before Rockstar Games released the Kyle Perico heist. So in order to celebrate that heist, like I said, they rolled out a new heist challenge, which rewarded players with a bunch of exclusive items, I believe a few vehicles, as well as some cash rewards. Now what is quite interesting is, they set the challenge of the previous one in 2020 at 100 billion, and the community ended up reaching over 1 trillion dollars. So so I think it's safe to say that Rockstar Games underestimated how dedicated the GTA community can be and absolutely smashed the target out of the ballpark. So I think this year's highest challenge is probably going to be seen at nearer the trillion mark considering we've also added the Kyle Perico since the last highest challenge which is probably the easiest and quickest paying one. So I can definitely see this highest challenge being a ridiculous ridiculous target to hit this year but i'm pretty confident everyone will be able to smash it out and like i said unlock some exclusive rewards now as far as what these rewards will be thanks to a data miner known as wildbrick142 he went ahead and put this on twitter as you guys can see rewards most likely for the challenge heist pacific standard sweater with a pacific standard varsity which personally i think looks pretty sick with this black and yellow mix however he says we're also going to be getting the doomsday heist so the Clifford hoodie and the Clifford Varsity and then for the casino heist we're going to be unlocking the diamond strike vest with the diamond casino Varsity and for the island heist we're going to be unlocking this Strickler hat along with this Cuban shirt so some pretty decent clothing items to unlock for completing this heist challenge and leave a comment down below let me know what you guys think Rockstar Games are going to set the target as this year now I've gone ahead and actually found the original post from Rockstar Games when they first launched the original heist challenge back in 2020 and the dates even match up because they actually went ahead and says should everyone come together and hit the target by november 18th we'll reward the entire community at large with a special new vehicle 
free of charge for a limited time this December. All participants who partake in this week's Heist Challenge will receive an additional bonus, a special badge of honor for their efforts, assemble your crew, plan your operations, and keep an eye out for updates. So of course, they did roll this out in November, right before they've released the Kyle Perico heist. And I do believe this is probably insinuating or hinting at another big heist update coming out in December. And of course, we do know Michael DeSanto will be returning into GTA 5 Online very, very soon. And what a better way to reintroduce him than with a new heist. Of course, Franklin got somewhat of a story update where we had to play through a few missions and we got a whole new property based around him. Trevor is already in the game and has had contact missions for as long as the game has been available. So it looks like Michael is the only missing part to the online world. And of course, if you guys aren't aware, there has already been tons of different leaks insinuating that Michael DeSanta will be making a return. So you could probably find those videos over on my channel by just searching Michael. However, another thing I do want to make clear to you guys, of course, when grinding heists in 2022 or just grinding money, it can be quite irritating or quite frustrating, relying on random players who are low ranks, have no idea what they're doing. So what I will say is make sure you guys go ahead and join my Discord server down low in the description. I'll also leave it as a pinned comment because when Rockstar Games release this highest challenge, I will be setting up specific channels and servers just to find other players to grind out heists with. Just so everyone, like I said, in my community, if you want to earn some quick money, you can jump on my server, find some other good players straight away. And I will also be doing a bunch of live streams in the coming months leading up to the next DLC. So I will be needing you guys to get involved in those live streams Dreams, and the best way to do so, like I said, will be to join my Discord server as I will be posting over there first, trying to find other players and giving you guys general updates. And I am always interested to hear from you guys, so leave a comment down below. Let me know, are you guys looking forward to another heist challenge? Are you happy that the next DLC is possibly going to be another heist DLC? And out of all of these rare cloven unlocks from the heist challenge, which one are you guys looking forward to most? Now, of course, we are on wednesday so i do want to give you guys a quick heads up that you've only got one more day to unlock these rare halloween masks one of them the famine mask as you guys can see on screen will be unlocked straight away for simply just logging in so if you guys haven't logged in for the last week in gta 5 online but you are looking to unlock this mask you guys have only got one more day left to do so there's also another mask that you guys can see on screen known as the green vintage mummy mask and this one could be unlocked by completing a payphone hit mission and this can only be done today boys to unlock this mask i've seen a few of you guys unable to unlock the masks from last week that's because rockstar games updated the challenges and updated the unlocks and i do know that some of you guys are maybe wanting to unlock this mummy mask but you don't have an agency in order to launch the payphone hit missions once again leave a comment down below and say need other player with agency or just go ahead and join my discord server leave a message on the channel of the platform you guys play on as i have got channels for every platform whether you guys are ps4 ps5 xbox or pc just simply go ahead leave a message over there and just say need player with agency and i'm pretty sure you guys will get a reply in no time i've got tons of active players in my community always up for helping each other out and grinding money however that is going to do it for me guys as always if you guys do appreciate me keeping you up to date with all of the latest gta 5 news all i ask is you do return the favor by dropping a like down below and if you guys are new around here hit that subscribe button as i do post daily gta 5 videos thanks a lot for watching guys and i'll see you in my next video peace